Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a random review. I am Random Ross and today I review... Renegade Nell. So this is an action fantasy um, adventure, historically. Renegade Nell, formerly known as the Ballad of Renegade, uh, Renegade Nell. Uh, so this is uh, written by Sally Wainwright and directed by three people, Ben Taylor, Amanda Rochi or something, MJ Delaney and it stars Louisa Harland, uh, uh, Frank Delane, uh, Alice um, Kerenberg, Enya Okoroko, uh, Jake Dunn, Bo Brassinger or something, Florence Keane, Pip Torrance, Nick Mohammed, Jolie Richardson, and Adrian Lester. So the plot says here uh, Nell Jackson finds herself framed for a murder and becomes friends and becomes a female highway man in the 18th century England, becoming the most feared highway woman in the country. With the help of a magical sprite called Billy Blind, Nell realises her destiny is bigger than she ever imagined. So, yeah, that's the plot synopsis there. Uh, so, this is on Disney+. Plus. There's eight episodes. It dropped on the 29th of March. And the eight episodes are called Don't Call Me Nelly. Uh, tracks less well trod a private joke with the queen the devil's dung excuse me I'm a doctor stitched by scrollers stop painting this muck and not some cheap trick so yeah most of the episodes are written by Sally Wainwright, however, the last three are written by Emma Hoy, Georgia uh, Christian too, and again, Emma Hoy. So, yeah, what did I like about this? Well, I liked our casting this, our leading lady, uh, Louisa Har uh, Harland, playing Nellie Jackson, or Nell Jackson. Uh, who I know from the Channel 4 comedy Derry Girls and she takes the lead in this. I also like the supporting characters as well including uh, Nell's sisters uh, Roxy and um, yeah Roxy and oh, that's it and Florence is it uh, George yeah, um, and of course Nick Mohammed playing Billy Blind, who's a little sprite, and has his own Wikipedia page, uh, Billy Blind, from Scottish households. Uh, yeah, um, of course I also liked some of the action sequences we got in this. Like, you know, as soon as danger is a put, um, you know, little Billy Blind flies into. You know, Nell, and she gets all these super abilities where she can face and fight the bad guys. Uh, there's even villains in this that try and stop her, try and get her killed, try and get her arrested, because she gets framed for a murder she did commit on a magistrate. Uh, we get a few comical moments in there, a few dark moments, a couple fantasies, uh, some interesting villains as well. Um, such as um... oh yeah and we also get Frank Delane is it from uh, the Walking Dead spin-off Fear the Walking Dead and also we have 
You know, like how a mean antagonist our villain. God, where is he now? Ah, oh, that's it. Um, the Earl of Poynton, Robert Hessany. Um, he was an interesting villain with his dark magic and how he taught the young woman who also went on to become a villain in this but then sees the error of her ways and stuff. Um, this was an interesting miniseries. Is there going to be another series? No. I don't think they should. The way they ended it, they ended it on a point where, yeah, I'm, I'm alright with just this being a one-time series. Um, but also, I like the soundtrack. I like the sort of swashbuckling vibes we got from this, even though it's not a swashbuckling adventure, but it just gave me that Pirates of the Caribbean vibe as well, which I liked as well, which I did like. I thought the settings were good, the historical locations were. There are a few historical inaccuracies, but, you know, things go with the time, so, you know, they change stuff and put in some political correctness there, which, you know, I, you know, by now I've grown used to thought, okay, fine, it's, you know, the times we live in. At the end of the day, it's all fiction, you know, as long as we know what fact and fiction is, does fiction really matter? Uh, but, yeah, I, I enjoyed watching this series. I thought we had some good characters in there and, you know, some good adventure and storytelling. So, ratings, what will I rate this one? I think I will give Renegade now a... I think I will give it a... A three and a half out of five. There were some moments in there that didn't quite do it for me, but it's it's watchable. It's you know PG thirteen, so if you like anything like that, action and adventure and fantasy, I'd say give it a watch. So there you go. There is my review on Renegade Nell. Have you seen it? Like I said, it's all on Disney Plus now, so you can check it out. Uh, I have been Randy Ross. This has been a random review. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are linked down below in the description. I also have a horror channel if that interests you, because I love horror. So feel free to check all that out. And until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends, goodbye.